Is there any life outside our planet? Okay, listen. The short answer is that we simply don't know because we haven't found any evidence yet, but the interesting fact that we haven't found life elsewhere yet doesn't mean that such life does not exist. Do you know, it is really hard to search life outside our planet, even in the solar system, so it could be that there is life very nearby. We just haven't found it yet. Just think about our solar system, there are not just eight planets but also hundreds of thousands of asteroids and more than 10 trillion comets, but astronomers think the best places to look for life are those that have liquid water or had it in the past. But why? On Earth, everywhere we find water we find life, so it seems natural to search where liquid water is present. Watery planet can be found in Goldilocks zone where the temperature is not too hot or too cold, it means the habitable zone. Astronomers recently announced that a potentially ocean-covered exoplanet has been discovered. Orbiting binary stars in the Draco constellation about 100 light-years from Earth. The planet was given the catchy name TOI-1452b and its discovery was announced in an article. Published in the Astronomical Journal. An international team of scientists led by the University of Montreal recently announced the discovery of this ocean planet that could host life. This exoplanet is slightly larger than our Earth and it orbits a red dwarf star. But, how likely is life on planets orbiting red dwarf stars? Scientists have long thought that super flares on red dwarf stars decimate most of the atmospheres on planets orbiting too close. Do you know, red dwarfs are much more magnetically active than the sun, and can produce super flares which can be up to 10,000 times more powerful than any the sun produce. So this is worse for a planet orbiting the red dwarf star. Because this stellar activity can not just sterilize a planet but also strip away its atmosphere after some time. But the good news is, planets orbiting red dwarf stars may not be dead zones after all. Now, an international team of astronomers led by Ekaterina Island at Astrophysics Potsdam, AIP, in Germany shows that planets orbiting red dwarf might not be in as much danger after all. Usually, planets tend to orbit around or close to the equatorial plane of their stars. But Island and her team found that the super flares erupt from the poles of the stars. The new observations were based on data from NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS. So these planets could therefore be largely protected from such super flares, as these are directed upwards or downwards out of the exoplanet system. An international team of researchers led by Charles Cadieux, a PhD student at the University de Montreal and member of the Institute for Research on Exoplanets, IRX, has announced the discovery of TOI-1452b, an exoplanet. The exoplanet is slightly greater in size and mass than Earth and is located at a distance from its star, where its temperature would be neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist on its surface. The astronomers believe it could be an ocean planet, a planet completely covered by a thick layer of water, similar to some of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons. The measured planetary mass and bulk density are suggestive of the planet having a rocky core surrounded by a volatile-rich envelope. As per the reports, a year on this exoplanet will last only for a span of 11 days. It was NASA's Space Telescope TESS, which surveys the entire sky in search of planetary systems close to our own, that put the researchers on the trail of this exoplanet. Based on the TESS signal, which showed a slight decrease in brightness every 11 days, astronomers predicted a planet about 70% larger than Earth. The host star TOI-1452 is much smaller than our Sun and is one of two stars of similar size in the binary system. The two stars orbit each other and are separated by such a small distance, 97 astronomical units, or about two and a half times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. It was NASA's Space Telescope TESS, which surveys the entire sky in search of planetary systems close to our own that put the researchers on the trail of this exoplanet. This planet, TOI 1423, receives a similar amount of light from its star as Venus does from our Sun because the red dwarf star is smaller and cooler than our Sun. The team of researchers concluded that since the exoplanet is found to receive modest irradiation, it can be a good candidate for water world. 
Research on this super-Earth would likely be done with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. JWST would use transit spectroscopy to reveal this intriguing exoplanet's true nature.